welcome back or to the channel. So what we've done today was uh, we're getting this oven uh, up to temp. So I've got it set to 400 Fahrenheit. Uh, we're running it now on uh, just three burners and I'll show you that. Uh, the reason why I'm only running it on a three burner here uh, is because our breaker at the shop is only a 40 uh, amper. And uh, this oven would require a minimal of 60 amper. So we're gonna run it on, on uh, three. I could put uh, the fourth one on and uh, warm everything up because by the time it actually gets to uh, pulling uh, about that 40, about 50 amps would take uh, maybe 15 to 20 minutes, but I'm just uh, playing it safe. So we'll run it on uh, three burner for now. We'll get her uh, heated up to the 400 Fahrenheit mark, uh, and then we'll do some powder coating and see how this uh, how this thing works. So hang in there. Let's get this to warm up, and then we'll see where we're at. Okay, guys. So that's the uh, powder that uh, I'll be shooting today, and uh, we'll be shooting that powder onto uh, ooh, blurry here onto this. So if you guys don't know what that is, that's uh, just a pin for a trailer hitch. Uh, we'll clean it up and uh, we'll have some fun with it and see how she looks Okay guys, so as you can see here, I've got uh, a key for that. So the key is covered in plastic So that's not going to work in that oven. So what I did is I had the spare key and I removed the uh, plastic cover so that we actually can get that uh, in there like so and then we'll uh, we'll tie it and uh, lock it in place so we can actually hang it there we go okay guys I got the uh, powder in the gun I got it set up that's uh, an Eastwood gun okay so that's the uh, PSC or is PCS 250 dual voltage uh, and I got my stuff hanging here so we're getting spraying Let's uh, walk back into uh, the shop. She's getting nice and hot. Well, let's see where we're at temperature wise. So we're at 392.7 Fahrenheit. So we're almost at 400. And we're just moving along nicely. Now it's letting off some, uh, some smoke right now and that's uh, we can see that coming off that corner there. Okay, so that's the paint that's burning off. Okay, so uh, over you know a period of time, we're gonna do a, a few different burns to try to get uh, that paint baked on. So I did run it uh, prior, so she's still uh, she's still burning off uh, excess paint. So we'll let it uh, do its thing, and let's go powder coat that uh, those two pieces. Okay guys, so I've got the pieces in, as you can see, move over here, so by opening the oven, it dropped down to about 360 by the time I hung everything in there. I got the timer set for uh, 20 minutes, I got the interior light on right now, so we'll let it get up there. It's got to hit 400 Fahrenheit, it's moving up, and then what we'll do is we'll end up testing the pieces to make sure that uh, they hit that temperature. So let's see how they turn out. So guys, we took it out and it worked perfectly. There we go. So, Usually when we're doing uh, powder coating, what we, most of the time we'll do, well, actually all the time, is of course we'll, uh, we'll sandblast all the products uh, before powder coating and then we'll outgas them. So we'll put them back into the oven and we'll get them up to about 400 Fahrenheit and uh, let them cool and then we'll go ahead and powder coat it. Now, 
this thing here, it's just, just to make sure that the oven's getting up to temp and that uh, everything's working out uh, well, uh, we just uh, decided just to go ahead and shoot it. It's, uh, it was a new product. I don't really care if it's gonna last, but uh, for something, uh, a quick one too, it actually worked out really, really well, better than I expected. So there we go, guys. So we'll let that cool off and then uh, we'll take a closer look at it. The oven worked out beautifully. We'll just uh, let her cool off and we'll uh, get on to our next project. Okay, guys, as you can see, I put the, uh, the pin in. It looks great. You guys are wondering that uh, that's my hitch uh, it's a toe and stow hitch it's probably the best hitch I've ever owned if you guys are interested you can see uh, look them up on uh, online probably one of the best quality hitches ever made anyway guys thanks for watching and I appreciate all the support